Hi guys, Matt here from Coleman's Modern Repair and I just wanted to show you today a repair of an iPhone 5S that had the U2IC chip damage from using cheap chargers from the dollar store, the gas station or anywhere else you buy them for a couple bucks. So I'll show you what the chip looks like. So you can see the chip right there, all the solder balls on the bottom. And I'll show you where it is on the motherboard. I've already got it set up under the microscope, so it might be a little... Okay, so you can see the black chip right here. That's the chip that needs to be replaced. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And let's get right to it. Okay, so we got the chip off. We're gonna have to make a couple different videos. I'm limited to five minutes recording on my phone. So I'll zoom through the camera, the lens here. See if you can get a shot of it. So there you can see all the solder balls from the chip that we removed. So now we're going to clean that up and put the new chip on. Then we'll be ready to go. All right, so I'm back and I've got the pads all cleaned up. So I'll just try and zoom in here so you can see. So it might be hard to tell, but you see all the pads from the chip, cleaned all those up. So now we're ready to apply some flux in the new chip and we'll be on our way. So get this all set up and we'll get recording. All right, so we've got everything set up and I'm going to add some flux. So I got my flux and I'm going to add the chip back. Make sure it gets aligned properly. Okay, so that's bang on. Alright, so I've got everything lined up, I've got the new chip in place, and I'm ready to fire this up. There we go.
Okay, so the chip just sat into place. That's all good. We'll let that cool down. And then I'll reassemble it. All right, so while that's cooling down, I'll get everything ready and I'll be back. All right, so the board's cooled down. Put a piece of tape on the back just so it doesn't short out when I put it back in the housing. So I'll go ahead and put it together here. All right, so I got everything plugged in. So let's go ahead and plug it in. I don't know if you can see that, but it's showing the low battery. Plug it again. So there we go. So this phone has been repaired. I'll leave that on the charger. So the last thing you want to do is be using these cheap chargers from the dollar store and the gas stations. It's just going to uh, cause you more problems and a repair like that costs a hundred dollars so do yourself a favor and buy a certified charger either the Apple one or there's third party that are approved by Apple so that's it for today thanks a lot